Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about a certain SJW Twitch streamer who's acting very, very entitled again. We're of course talking about one we covered here previously before, back in January, going by the name of Bad Bunny. Now, this very leftist, very liberal Twitch streamer tends to dabble in politics from time to time. She's actually covered some of my videos before and tends to watch a lot of right-wing anti-SJW content while going over it on stream, giving kind of minimal input, not really adding much to it. She basically kind of leeches off of other people's content. And sure, you could look at things and say, hey, wait, this guy's a little bit similar. You're using clips too. But no, we use clips with extensive and well-planned and well-edited commentary. These guys on Twitch are just kind of sitting around, being lazy, laying back in their chairs, kind of half asleep, barely talking most of their videos. I mean, these Twitch streams go on for hours and hours, so I don't know if you could really expect them to kind of fill it all with content, but I have to say, I kind of do. If you're going to have a show, you need to keep it moving. You can't have lots of long gaps in it. You can't have pauses. You can't let the chat take over and dominate everything. You got to handle yourself, but these Twitch streamers are very bad performers. This is clear, and they're also very entitled and kind of getting super, super uppity. It's been kind of cringe. Uh, we covered this before in the last video, and now we have a new clip coming from the same person. Bad Bunny recently kind of talked about her value again in a video she was saying how she was so much more valuable than her fans which is highly questionable to say the least and also kind of expected from someone like this we've seen this behavior before they think they're better than everyone and in addition these left wingers are always this entitled. They think everyone owes them something and it goes along with their whole ideology. That's why they call for things like government handouts. They want this big government free stuff handed to them. They want to take other people's money and redistribute it because they think that other people's money and our success in our country and our benefits, they think it's entitled to them. And the same thing carries over to these Twitch people on Twitch streams. They think they're entitled to views and subs and donations and all that stuff. And sure, they are doing some kind of a work there. I mean, as much work as you could call sitting in front of a camera all day playing Pokemon games or something. But there are some genuine Twitch streamers out there who are having lots of good, fun streams. They do video games. They do things like a, a ninja stream or a PewDiePie stream where they're playing a game. They're interacting with the crowd. They might even have some guests on or something like that. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about a very amateur, very low rent, very um, half-assed kind of show. She barely even tries. And we're going to get to the new clip. But First, let's check out some of the old clip. This is what she said last time that sparked the first video about this. How did my whole speech about how I need subs to get the stream going, if you like the content, blah, 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 how that results in zero subs? There are regulars here. Five dollars a month. How do you have hours of time to watch me and not five dollars? Well, I think you just answered your own question, lady. And if you could check out this uh, thing here, I have 100,000 views on this video from January, 7,000 likes. It's obviously going well. People turned against uh, this girl very hard at this time. You could see some recommended videos here. Penguins did a video on it. A couple other guys covered it too. And the basic gist is she was asking for these donations. And like we said before, this is a very lazy show. As you can see by the picture, she's kind of sitting back in her chair not really kind of engaged much at all, just leaning back, very lazy, barely talking, very chiming in. You could also see here, there's the clips that she's showing. She's always watching a video, uh, mostly like barely commentating on it, barely doing the fair use minimum. And in addition, she doesn't have much to say besides her typical SJW uh, talking points. She always goes with the left. She's a virtual socialist, supports people like Bernie Sanders. You can see in the background it says left is best right there. And I think you get the point. That's why we previously covered her. And actually, there is a little follow-up to that because after my video, after that video came out, we did see some white knights come out and try and defend this, believe it or not. I mean, you saw that clip. You saw how terrible she was being. But even so, there's still going to be other SJWs. JWs that are going to defend that, particularly some men trying to white knight her to possibly get a chance to get laid or something. I don't know. People do that to girls all the time on the internet, no matter how they look. And we could tell that this girl isn't necessarily the most 
attractive nor the most ugly. She's somewhere in the middle, but that's still going to draw in lots of white knights that are going to try and defend her. So people try to cover my video. They try to debunk me and say, oh, you're comparable. You know, like you're doing similar stuff. You're asking for money too. All that's nonsense though. I don't do any sorts of begging. I have things I put out there to collect donations. If people feel so inclined, like, yes, I have some links. I have a Patreon. I have a PayPal, but I'm not out here like saying, give me money. Give me $5 a month. Give me this. Like I say, hey, maybe if you consider this content valuable, this will help if you become a member, if you become that. That's not the same kind of level. I'm not preaching that in the middle of my videos. I'm not saying that very much at all. Like almost very rarely, like a couple times a month at the end of a video. And again, the tone and the intent matters. You don't yell at your fans like this lady. You don't say, hey, you guys are bums. Why don't you give me money? Why don't you give me five bucks? That's ridiculous. You just kind of kindly put the tip jar out there like if you were at you know, a restaurant or a bar, the tip jar is right there. But th in this case, what they're doing is they have a tip jar, which is this girl, and she's yelling at people that don't tip. And in instead, you should just have a tip jar available if people feel so inclined. That's the main difference. That's the kind of gist of the rebuttal to the people rebuttal to my rebuttal, you know, the kind of threefold, three turn thing there. And that also brings us to our new clip here. So now we've got a new clip from the same creator a few months later, and she's really going off the rails again. Here it is right here on Twitter. This is from Keemstar. He actually says here, LMFAO had to repost because the original p poster was paid to delete the post. So this clip was shared before, and it actually had a lot of views, and I saw the original one going around. It got retweeted by someone, and then they deleted it, and Keemstar is saying maybe they got paid off. I think other people said he deleted it just because Keemstar was like sharing it or something, some kind of spiteful, dumb thing. Um, I think that's lame. I think Keemstar is hilarious, and this is a good point. So let's go ahead and get to this new video and see how bad this thing gets. This is her, got 200,000 views. My value is so much more than all of your value put together, everyone in this chat. <laughs> like I know every life has value, but like my life is far more valuable. All, your lives have value, but mine is much more valuable than your life. On what scale, where is she getting this from? I'm not really sure what kind of gauges she's measuring. I don't know where she gets her value from, but it's clearly not the average person's thinking of value. We're not talking about, oh, you've got personal value, you've got intelligence, you've got assets, you've got uh, perhaps a family, things going on in your life. You've got a cool job. I mean, I'm not sure where she thinks she gets her value from. Maybe she thinks because people watch her on Twitch, uh, maybe that's uh, getting giving her some self-validation. But to put herself above all these viewers is pretty disrespectful. I mean, I don't know who's watching this show. I, we, we already went over how she's a big, bad SJW, and sh these people on Twitch, she, she runs in circles with some of the worst out there, too. Some big liars, like other people that have covered videos like mine, uh, made up quotes about me, shared lies. Like, these people are the worst. So I'm not surprised if there are some bad eggs in her audience but I wouldn't go so far as to say, oh, she has more value than, say, whatever she's watching her. I mean, if it was like five people, I guess maybe that could be the argument. But it kind of depends on who's in her room. I'm not sure how big they are. But I would guess there might be like 100, 200, maybe something like that. We'd have to kind of find the original source to this. But she's definitely not reaching her sub goal. On the right here, it says 19 out of 69. So I don't think she does have that many subs. But it's still, I think even if there's like a couple of people in the room she's not more valuable than really anyone else just because she's a girl like I don't know what this comes from I think this is like a feminist mindset that they think just because they're a woman they're more valuable than all these dudes put together and you know in their circles in a lot of ways there that could be true but she's definitely first of all she's not that cool she's not that pretty or smart at all like if she was she would probably have a far more successful endeavor online instead of being known as this kind of e-beggar this kind of person who berates her audience and thinks she's better than she is but uh yeah that's a good way to start your video that's a good way to address your fans i guess i mean these are the only people watching her and still paying attention and i think this is just kind of a crowd for help and the fact that you don't even acknowledge this really disgusts me it's like when you see like a super 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 ugly dude that goes up to like a 10 
And the baby's like, hey, babe, do you want to go out? It's like insulting. You don't realize what's happening here, do you? You think we're on the same level. That's insulting. Okay, now we're kind of seeing more into her mind what she values. And her example immediately goes to looks. So she's talking about appearances. Appearances apparently are on the forefront to her. Um, it's on the forefront to a lot of people. We can admit that. I mean, appearances are the first thing you see uh, before you even hear a person speak. It's harder to know their personality. Sure, it's harder, but that's what's more valuable in a person. I think most rational adults would agree. You know, there's more value to say uh, someone having a lot of intelligence intelligence, a great skill, like if you were a master chef or some sort of crazy mechanic or engineer or something, um, having, you know, maybe a strong family, a beautiful wife, husband, kids, uh, great parents, that stuff is all far more valuable than just your appearance. But according to this, we're looking at a Bad Bunny video and yeah, according to them, it's about looks. It's about if this guy's ugly, he shouldn't be with a pretty person. Now, does does that go past the skin deep? Are you going to read past the book's cover? I'm not sure. I usually would. I've seen plenty of uh, looks disparities between couples before too and you got to ask yourself why would this hot chick be with this lesser looking dude well that's because the dude has some value he has things beyond looks and not every girl not every uh woman really this is a girl's mindset this is a young girl bad bunny's pretty young and she's also far far more immature than most people her age so this is a very young girl's way to look at things looking at appearances thinking about how visually things are and not really going past past the skin, past the cover of the book. And that's just because there's not much more important to them. They don't have things going on in their heads. They're not thinking. They're not thinking about the future, thinking about important is issues, news, current events. These people dabble in events and talk about politics occasionally, but a lot of times they don't care. Like she would do this, I think, to get attention, to talk to people and get in with like far other far leftists on Twitch. But actually, if you had a discussion, if you had a stream, if this person ever had some kind of live debate or something, the whole thing, the whole facade would fall apart. And the fact that you think, Chatters, that you're on the same level of value as I am is, to be quite frank, insulting. Okay, that wraps it up on this clip. And you know, I could just see the entitlement oozing out of this video. You can look at this picture. This is another still from the beginning. And just look at her face, the glasses, the makeup. I mean, she obviously thinks she's really hot shit and far above the station she's really in. I mean, she's just this girl on Twitch uh, with some mild opinions that kind of line up with everyone else in the mainstream. I mean, there's nothing original about her and nothing unique and nothing really special, even though she thinks she's special. She, this is an insecure point of view. This is an insecure way to go about it. This is someone who knows they aren't special and they don't have much value. So that's why they have to expand upon it and preach it and push it out there because they're so insecure about not being very cool. And that wraps up this clip. But there was one more thing I wanted to point out. If you go to her Twitter, it does have some follow-ups here. It says, dude trying to harass me accidentally tells me I'm officially better than the average person. They're talking about this picture. How many? She says, how many subs do I need to be better than the average person? Uh, 20. She has 20 Twitch subs, apparently. And this guy says 1,000. And yeah, I think she might already have a thousand. I'm not really sure, but this just goes to show because a lot of people, some people actually suspected she was kind of joking or being over the top. And that's definitely possible. This is, could be some kind of goof or gaff, but I think it's based on some kind of um, overconfidence coming from them. She might be amping it up a few percentage points, but at the same time, all, all of her interactions and tweets and other follow-ups confirm this. We saw the, the video from a few months ago earlier. We saw the new video. We're looking at her Twitter and she's still supporting this. So even if she is goofing or trolling, um, it might as well be true at this point. We can believe it. I think it's past the point unless they come out with some kind of thing. Oh, I was joking the whole time. I didn't mean it. Like otherwise I'm just going to, we can just assume it's true. And I know some people want to say it's a goof to kind of defend her, but that's just more white nighty. They just want to white knight 
people like this, even a mildly attractive girl, even some ugly girls can get that kind of attention on the internet. There's always going to be a lot of simps out there, a lot of white knights and betas trying to latch on to people like this, and it really needs to stop. And I think this video exposes her once again, showing the entitlement of the left, showing how terrible these Twitch girls can be, and also just giving you guys a glimpse into some people that are detractors of mine and how awful they truly are. That about wraps things up for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Tell me what you think about Twitch. Tell me what you think about this chick and her terrible video. And also, leave a like if you enjoyed what you saw today. Those really help. And if you want us to continue covering these Twitch girls and their totally bad, entitled, terrible takes, I actually have another one that could be covered. Amanda Cerny made a video about a week or two ago, and I didn't get to that yet. So if you want that covered, hit the like button. If we get 3,000 likes, I'll do it. Thanks for your time, and everyone, have a great day.